Cammy Crawford, host of Are You the One? Season 9 recently revealed that MTV's choice to go global with the cast for the first time will help the show. The hit show is officially back after a four-year hiatus, and has maintained a huge following since first season aired in 2014. Are You the One? Season 8 aired a while back in 2019, but the same bingeable competition concept remains in place as it has before. The cast, made up of attractive singles, will be matched to a prospective partner through expert advice and a matchmaking algorithm. MTV's Are You The One? Season 9 brings fresh ideas and faces, with a new host and an international cast for the very first time. Are You The One? Season 9 host Cammy recently sat down to discuss why the idea to go global with the cast members is so important. Cammy told Hollywood Life that some of the singles have expressed excitement about meeting people from other countries. A lot of them are still in their early 20s or mid-20s and figuring things out, so maybe they aren't sold on living where they're from. They want to travel, and they want to experience life with someone. So the ability to connect with someone from a different place that then puts you in that place is exciting for them. Are you the one? Cast members can connect with international contestants on the importance of expanding the air you the one, cast outside the U. S. Cami added, I think that getting to know how much our experiences are so similar, no matter where you're from or where you live, makes a lot of these people perfect matches. The host further explained how the show's concept of matchmaking can make the international aspect of it all the more beneficial. Specifically because the contestants likely wouldn't cross paths with others from a different country, had they not joined the show. Are You the One? Season 8 was the first sexually fluid dating show the first seven seasons of Are You the One? consisted of heterosexual singles fighting to find their most compatible partner to win the grand prize. In 2019, MTV mixed things up by casting sexually fluid contestants on Are You the One? and representing the LGBTQ community in a reality TV dating competition for the first time. Similar to the seasons preceding, an algorithm determined the singles' matches, but this time, gender identity was not a factor in the decision. The show's unique dating experience had somehow gotten better with the addition of the comprehensive concept. Other TV networks and series have dabbled with inclusivity in recent years, but MTV will be remembered as the trailblazer. Cami wasn't wrong in her analysis of the introduction of international contestants. Are You The One? has been pritting itself for nearly a decade on supplying singles with the greatest matchmaking experience dating shows have to offer. There are nearly 8 billion people in this world and counting, so it would not be logical to think that if humans do have a perfect match, that they just so happen to reside in the same region. Other tropical dating shows like Are You The One? have long featured a global cast, but this show is unique because of its expert compatibility testing to match the contestants. Are You The One? has gone beyond simply surrounding the cast with a diverse pool of potential candidates by further selecting and pairing them with a purpose. Dating competition shows generally operate in similar fashion, but it is safe to say that Are You The One? has been a trendsetter in the industry. In the last two seasons, the show has featured a sexually fluid cast and introduced global matchmaking. The long-awaited revival of the series is finally here. With a new host and international cast, it will be quite the adventure, and of course, the usual abundance of love and drama on Are You The One? is expected as well. Are You The One? premieres January 28 on Paramount+.
Source, Hollywood Life. With a gentle touch, you tell me what all love I have to share.